Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to the Asian Seal Conf International Conference 2024. I am so grateful to welcome you to the conference, which is the first time hosted in Western Asia and for the first time in Kazakhstan. I feel privileged to open this event and stand here where many accomplished prominent masters of the craft who I admire and look up to the one stood. A very special welcome to our keynote speakers present today at the plenary session. A huge gratitude to Ms. Uh, uh, to Ambassador Zhang, President of the Asian Society of National Law, Mr. Daniel Vaisov, Vice Minister of Justice of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Ms. Gulnara Mergenova, a judge of the Supreme Court of Kazakhstan, Mr. Nikolai Zhumakanov, Director of the International Law Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Ms. Mr. Aydin Bikibayev, Chairman, Ch Chairman of the Republican Bar Association, Dr. Chie, Secretary General of the Society, Professor Anthony Andrew, Faculty of Law of the National University of Singapore and Faculty of Law of the University of Utah, and Professor Sergei Sayapin, KIMEP University. Thank you for attending the conference, which attracted the attention of the extensive academic community in international law. The guests present today have come from more than 25 countries and represent diverse academic institutions. The selection process of the uh, Asian Seal papers has been more than the most impressive. Out of 106 submitted abstracts, only 56 were accepted to be presented at the conference. The conference was preceded by a very meaningful event that supports young researchers, a junior scholar workshop that has been a great success. 20 bright researchers presented their topics yesterday, demonstrating great academic and research potential. We're happy to host you at the two universities in Almaty, Narhos University and Kimep University. On behalf of Kimep and Narhos teams, I thank the members of the Executive and Advisory Councils and the whole society for entrusting us with this great mission. I would like to especially thank the Society's Secretariat, Dr. Chia, Jaya and Amil, for your great support. We are also grateful to Photobank for its general partnership and 31st Channel for media support. I would like to use this opportunity to thank my extensive team at Narhos and the working group and leadership of KIMEP for, the, for all the help and support with, with uh, organizing the conference. Not so long ago, we were forced to restrain ourselves from face-to-face -face conferences because of the pandemic. We are extremely lucky to have back to the opportunity to travel around the world and discover new sites of Asia. Such international events further strengthen the superior status and prestige of the Asian Society of Russian Law. We are grateful to all participants' hard work and extension, attention expressed to our conference, especially the fact that you found the time and opportunity to come visit to beautiful Almaty and share your thoughts. Asian Society of International Law has long represented not only a platform for the exchange of ideas, but also a concentration of prominent experts in international law in what, at one place and one time. The choice of Kazakhstan is very meaningful. Our country was home to signing the many significant documents that have influenced the development of the international society in international law. And today, the country is at the regional center of peace building and reconciliation efforts. As you know, our president, Kasim Jamar Kemelich Tokayev, in his career served as a UN deputy secretary. It's very symbolic that our president currently in Singapore and Kazakhstan is hosting the Conference of Asian Society, which secretariat is located in Singapore. Upholding the principle of international order is extremely important to Kazakhstan. The United Nations spirit of international law is deeply embedded in our thinking and behaviors. Ultimately, the world needs more efforts in this field. Though not perfect, the United Nations still represents one of the effective international organizations aimed to the solution of collective issues of states. I am reminded of the famous quote of second UN Secretary General, Mr. Doug Hammarskjöld: the United Nations was not created in order to bring in us to heaven, but in order to save us from the hell. Our conference is titled Asia and International Law, Historical Legacy and Progressive Development. The choice of conference title is not accidental. 
We have to recognize the significant role of international law, international relations between states and other actors. But we should also remember that this law is vital and it needs to be progressively developed. I'm sure that the presentation of our distinguished conference participants will contribute to the further development of international law. I am happy it is happening today in this very place. Thank you very much.